Hi guys. So today I am going to show you how you can actually control the level of granularity uh, for your dashboard when it comes to a date range. So for example, uh, for the sample superstore data set, if you want to visualize the profit, quantity and sales on a daily basis versus a weekly basis versus a monthly basis, how uh, you can kind of uh, control the level of granularity of your uh, expression within the dashboard and this is sometimes really useful because in many cases uh, you want to uh, visualize your key performance indicators or if you want to visualize many of your business parameters but you want to um, measure it on you know something which is more of a drop down menu like for example daily weekly or a monthly filter and uh, this option is actually not available in Tableau unless you kind of uh, implement it separately as part of your uh, rows and columns uh, shelf uh, dra drag downs. So I'm going to uh, show this with the help of calculated fields as well as parameters. So quickly let us hop right in to that. So by creating firstly a parameter which is which we'll call as something as a date range. And what this will help us do is kind of uh, shift between the daily, weekly, and monthly values. It's going to be a string. So let's just type the uh, values of the strings that we need to kind of uh, uh, switch between, which is daily, weekly, and monthly. Uh, we can also do it on a quarterly and a yearly basis. Uh, so maybe we can just add another quarterly as well as finally we can add like a yearly basis and then hit ok so we've got a date range and what we are going to next create is a calculated field and what this calculated field will do is like for example let us call this as like a date granularity because what this calculated field will help us do is it will help us uh, control the level of granularity of our order date. So we are currently in the sample superstore data set that has been provided by Tableau and we will be working with order date and try to uh, kind of visualize our discount profit as well as quantity and sales uh, based upon the yearly, quarterly, uh, weekly and monthly values without dragging any uh, views onto the rows or the column shelf so that it will be really automatic and very intuitive. So what we are going to do is uh, let us bring in our, uh, let us try to switch between the various values of our date range parameter that we have created and based upon whether it is a, uh, when it is a daily value, what we want to do is uh, then truncate the date range uh, to the day value of the order date because we are going to basically visualize the order date uh, on a daily basis. So this is what this expression is going to do. When our date range is set to weekly, what we then want to do is we kind of want to truncate the date parameters uh, the order date parameter to a week and uh, let us just uh, put our order date here and when it is set to uh, something which is a monthly value then we need to uh, truncate the order date values on the monthly level so as you can see that the date trunk function is actually very useful in this case. Uh, and finally, uh, let us just add for quarter as well as for yearly basis. Then date trunk to the quarter. And this we do it for the order date. And finally, when we have got this on, when the aggregation is based upon the yearly level, then we just want the 
order date or that is has been truncated on the yearly basis that's it and that this is going to help us switch between the various KPIs uh, key performance indicators discount profit quantity and sales on a daily weekly monthly quarterly and yearly basis hit okay by the way uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, this uh, the difference that why we are using date trunk and not date uh, date part uh, in case you are confused between these two functions you can uh, check out one of the YouTube links that I have actually posted previously and try to understand the difference between date trunk and date bar. It's really useful to understand the specific use cases. So do check out that video. Uh, what we are going to then do is kind of uh, try to firstly bring in the KPIs that we want to uh, visualize as well as bring in the date granularity. So let's put date granularity here and at the same time let's just bring in the date range uh, over here and uh, let's uh, shift the date, uh, date granularity to an exact date and since it becomes continuous automatically by Tableau let's make it to discrete. To do is we are going to bring in our values like for example the key performance indicators maybe per profit sales quantity and discount and let's try to bring it to the column shelf so finally profit quantity discount and finally let's just bring in sales and let us try to change the type of view that we want to see and interchange uh, the rows and columns so that uh, it kind of looks familiar and on, again the view has been changed by Tableau so let us just kind of make it discrete so here we go what we are finally going to do is uh, we are finally going to show the date range and make it on the detailed shelf and click on show parameter and now let us try to see whether the date, range, date granularity actually changes so right now it is on the daily basis uh, so let us kind of expand this out so that it is more visible and when you change it to like weekly basis you can see that the date ranges have been changed to weekly basis now you can see the uh, everything on a quarterly basis and this is based on a quarterly basis uh, i think we had forgotten to add the last part which was like a yearly basis and let's just add a yearly here so that our yearly is working well and hit ok and now we've got yearly as well so then as you can see we can we have got date granularity for daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly working perfectly. And uh, maybe we can just bring it back to a dashboard. So let us uh, create a new dashboard. And what we are going to do is kind of drag it on to the feed. And after that, uh, let us just try to fit the width of the uh, width of the dashboard. What you can also do is kind of uh, format this a little so we can go to our sheet and then um, you can click on hit format and you can uh, kind of uh, select this to be a standard short date so that it uh, you don't necessarily always need the time and it, this looks like much uh, better and cleaner version and uh, if you look at the yearly level yes this looks really perfect and now let's go to our dashboard and there you go you can you can visualize everything on the level of the granularity that you expected so that that's it from my my end guys uh, if you like this video do like share and subscribe thank you so much bye bye